and hello to you. I received my second Goodwill box um, from the same day running my experiment. So in, in this little series, I guess you could call it, I ordered a blue box at right after the drop um, in which they dropped 85 and then they dropped another 100 and something to total 285 boxes. So I chose one box early in the early in the uh, time and the second box, which is this one, I ordered when it got down to around 30 boxes. And I totally expected one or the other to be from Florida and that wasn't the case. So I got a blue box from Tennessee, blue box from New Jersey, and an America's Thrift Supply because I wanted to compare boxes and see how different were they really. And America's Thrift Supply has kind of fallen off the bandwagon because they started giving junk and all their stuff. So I wanted to see how they compare. So um, this is my New Jersey blue box, <clears throat> which came like this from FedEx. Um, the box split open, so that had nothing to do with me. Just letting you know. Um, so we'll just, um, I mean, it's even, it's even kind of ripped on the side. So this box has been through some, some trouble. <laughs> so, um, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just waiting for a storm to pass and then I need to go out and go work in the yard. But until then, um, A little bag. Okay. There we go. So let's have a little look see what New Jersey. Oh, that's pretty. Um, ooh. That is really pretty. I like that. I don't, it may be an Alex and Lonnie one that I just don't know. Um, we've got an elephant, some flowers, a lot of flowers. Um, my goodness. A lot of bracelets in this one. A lot of flowers, a lot of bracelets from New Jersey. So, um, we'll just... Ooh. Kentucky jewelry, maybe? Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's a mermaid tail! <laughs> Um, leave it to me to find a mermaid tail. So, we'll start out, well, I guess we'll start out with a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be, okay. And it has jingles, little jingle balls on it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Somebody's going to have fun with this besides me. Um... That is, I know it's crazy, but it's really kind of cute. <laughs> so, um, let me get my box set up. <sighs> okay. Um, bangle. It's, it's seen better days. Uh, I don't know if I want to take the time to fix it. Another Italian horn. Oh my goodness. I have two, two Italian horns in here. Um, you're going to notice in these videos that these Italian horns are in my boxes. So I don't know whether there was an Italian horn 
like everybody just decided they didn't want them anymore or what but um is crazy okay what are we oh three we have three is this all one necklace hold on what do we got what do we have okay there's one okay yes so two necklaces um the chain has seen well yeah, I think the chain has seen better days, but there's a white Italian horn and a black, a larger Italian horn. And then we have this one, which is on a ball chain. Um, no maker, it's got some little charms, plus these are all just um, plastic, but I'm just going to put these into craft because they're not that great. Stretch is good on this one. It's a cute little cross. Um, so we'll keep that one. A very, somebody had a very small wrist. Um, but fortunately you can kind of bend this out a little bit. Um, no maker's mark. But, oh, does it have all of its little stones? This needs to be reshaped, which, you know, I might, I might do that. So I'm going to put it in the, okay, we'll keep it. Um, ice skating rink. Now, these colors match the mermaid. So I'm going to put that in with the mermaid. This bracelet is faux cowhide. It's quite heavy, so I'm really surprised it doesn't have a maker's mark on it. Oops. Um, my camera work could do better. It's quite heavy. Um, it's actually in good condition, so we're going to keep that one. Bangle. Mm, seen a little bit better days. We'll put this one in craft, even though it has a nice feel to it. I'm just not going to go there. Earring. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to get a, a bowl or something for earrings. Um, this... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll craft that. Acrylic circle in black, brass ring lost its silver tone, but yet the necklace, okay, so the necklace has lost some of its silver tone, but this is a really heavy chain, and so I think this one I'm going to fix. I will re-silver this get rid of this. I, I have no clue. Um, and so I'm going to put this in repair. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about is I have a resilvering kit that works. Okay. Magnet. Um, that works really well. And so um, I re-silver stuff that I think is going to be easy to do. So, um, this is a broken chain. Magnetic. Okay. I might go ahead and try and just, let's see, how long is this? Oh, this is a really nice long chain. Um, so I'm just going to put a new clasp on it and we're going to call it good to go. Oh, and guess what that chain was from? I'm going to take 
the rest of this off, see if I can hook these together and make one longer chain, and I will get rid of the fetish. Um, yeah, okay. But that's going to be in the repair. So here's one. Two and three. Okay, so we have three necklaces. This one is I have a feeling that this was on another another necklace, and um, I'm just gonna craft this because it's not in great condition. We have a black strawberry. Now I do not, oh my gosh. People, the amount of dirt that is crusted on this black strawberry. You know how they get moldy in the fridge? Well, apparently this one went so in the bag. Okay, it's kind of disgusting, but if I have to see it, you're gonna see it. Uh, so it's on this longer chain And I, I don't know. Is this a thing? I'm going to have to Google this and see if it's a thing. Because it's, it's actually solid. And it is well made. So I have no idea. I'm, I'm clueless. Fetish necklace, maybe? It's super long. It's um, 17, 18, probably close to 40 inches. I suppose it could be like a bikini belt. I don't know. But I'm just going to probably put it in craft. Okay. Is this worth taking the time to unravel? So, a rose gold short, like, choker plus, oops, there you go, um, plus extender. Um, no maker. Oh, well, yeah, I guess there is. There is a maker, but I don't recognize the symbol. I'll have to look that one up. Kind of a nice, you know, it's a nice weight, heavier feel, um, nice blingy pendant coming down. And then we have this one, which I don't see a maker, just, oh yes I do, it's Lauren Conrad. So we'll just untangle these later. I'm, they're both in good condition, so we'll just untangle them later. Ooh, a cat's eye. The stretch is stringy. Um, yeah, so this is adjustable. Um, it's pretty, so we're going to keep it. Ooh, stretch is not good in this one. It's It feels tight, like tight like it's going to break so we'll put that in craft even though it looks like it's in good condition put those aside any rings and earrings um, are being put to the side oh I think those match that necklace
Oh, here's another one of these, so we'll just put that into the OK box. There's a cross that is missing from this, so we'll just put that in craft. Uh, stretch is good. It looks like a Hawaiian. They look like Hawaiian beads. So mm, we'll put that in undecided. Good stretch, pretty but small. So we'll probably do a, like a kid's. Uh, lot. Don't know if this is actually Dior or faux Dior. I'm gonna assume faux or it's Diamonds International. You know what? I bet you that's what it is. This is probably one of those freebies from Diamonds International. Uh, but the chain is in good condition so you know, we'll put that in a, a keeper. Bangle that is in good condition. A curb chain. This is not movable. Um, it's all soldered together. It's in good condition, so we'll put that in OK. This might go to something else. Um, I'm going to put it aside for right now. This is falling apart, so this is craft for somebody. Is that a yeah it's a clasp um we're just gonna put that in craft oh and yet another another one um this one's really pretty and it's super cold um so we'll put that together Skull candy, maybe? Um, undecided. A brooch or a oops or a pendant, but what did that go to? Um, either way, we're um, we're gonna craft this. Um, the chain's in good condition, so I might salvage the chain and just get rid of the pendant. Okay, this one's going to need some room. Um, it's a good thing they put an ext a long extender, um, a three inch extender on this because I guess it's 16 inches. It just doesn't look that long. This is so retro. I love it. It's got real stones. Oh, I, you know what? I didn't turn that on. Um, it's in cl it's clean. There's no maker on it. These are cold to the touch. I'm not quite sure. 
these are glass or if they're actual stones or crystals so we'll find out that um, these are acrylic The, uh, I want to say this is real leather. But, don't see any maker mark. Let's see if it's still calibrated. Yes. Let's see what these come up to, if anything. Okay, they're not coming up to anything, but it just could be that they are not considered a precious stone. So we'll just put that back aside. Um, so we're going to put that in the keeper. Just a little faux chain. I will. Oh, you know what? It has. Is that supposed to be a five or is that supposed to be an astrological or a. Um... Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll put it over here. We can always lot it. A very articulated fish. There we go. He has all of his scales. He doesn't say who caught him. Um, I think the chain may just need to be cleaned and we'll be good to go. I don't understand. Another um, beaded bracelet. Wow. Okay, definitely not in good repair, but this is salvageable. Um, so we'll put it in craft. bracelet that goes with that necklace. I know where that goes. Okay. So we have rice pearls on a barrel clasp. Put that together with um, little pieces of what I'm assuming is coral. This has a vintage, like, 1940s, 50s feel to it. It's really nice. And it is 22 inches. I like it. They're... The pearls are in really nice condition um, and they're literally like grains of rice um, really beautiful piece okay this might be the <laughs> the lot of, of, of beaded beaded bangles um, holy schmooly Wowza. Oops, almost. There we go. Yes, those were all earrings. Okay, no maker. Um, good repair, so we'll keep that. KY Jewelry. 
yeah, KY Jewelry, multi chain, um, just little um, bars with their bling. So uh, we will, I can tell those are plastic. Uh, so we'll put that in probably for a lot. Warning, small parts. You, you got it. I, you know, I lived in Hawaii for a year and I can guarantee you that they never had to put a necklace warning. I didn't even know there was such a thing that is choking hazard for these little, <laughs> these little shells. Oh, really people they obviously got sued um, so shell necklace with the tag Part off of something. I don't know. Set that to the side. Oh, there's now two. Kids bracelets. A bangle that's yeah, we'll craft that one. There we go. So this is... Aw, it's a butterfly. I guess we'll craft that with the kids a lot. An S. Almost like Superman. I'm assuming that's an S. And then there's a smiley face. <laughs> it's, I know it's not a smiley face. Um, well, um, I'll have to see if... I can untangle that. It obviously got tangled, but um, all the stones are here. This is a really pretty pink. It's in good condition with the exception of me having to undo that, so we'll put this in it. Okay, we'll move it forward for now. Um, this is what's left of something that broke. A beaded tassel necklace. Um, these seem to be in my boxes a lot lately as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this in the... we'll think about it later. This is ceramic. Um... Yeah, we'll put it in the think about it box. Get rid of that. Oh my goodness. Alright. Clamper, still with the tag. No maker. Uh, good condition. It's pretty small. I mean... It looks pretty small. Well, I guess it's not too small. It's like six and three quarters, maybe. Um, we'll, we'll give it a, a whirl. Okay. KY Jewelry. Stretch is good. Um, all the stones are there. Yay. We're making a collection of these, apparently. Oh. What's oh, there's an earring stuck in it. Okay. 
This has seen better days. <laughs> Work off. Um, it's pretty. It needs reshaping. I'm afraid it's just like laser cut or tint or stamped. So I'm afraid of breaking it. So we're just going to put that in craft. I'm not going to mess with it. Another Hilo Hatties warning necklace of small parts. So we'll put that aside. Broken. Another piece. Another shell necklace. With a warning. Small choking hazard. Not from Hilo Hatties. Okay, I think the entire whatever this was all its parts are here <laughs> maybe it was a necklace um that. sweet pea alex and ani it was an alex and alex and ani and it's it still has its tag and it is in good condition i don't see any wear so okay a little stretch and it has all of its stones. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I'm looking for the Brighton B, but oops. Um, but I do not see it. it. Has a, I think this is a faux Brighton. Um, the stretch is not that great, so I'm gonna craft it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. All these little circles, we're just going to put them all together. Any more? I don't see any more. Okay. Oh, here's the necklace that goes with that bracelet. I've got a fish hook that has caught itself a bracelet. There we go. Okay. Mm, here's another one of this KY. Um, okay. All the stones are there. Good. This does not even have stretch left in it. It's, it's really pretty. Um, the stones in it are gorgeous, but it's going to be craft because this doesn't even, yeah, not, it'll break. Uh, so this is a White House Black Market. There you go. Um, there, there you go. Little, oh, there it goes. It untangled itself. <clears throat> so, nice, long, multi-chain. Uh, that's a really great piece, so yay. 
we have the flip flop from whomever. <clears throat> Two kids bracelets. Uh, not good stretch, so we'll just craft that one. This does not have any stretch in it at all, but all the stones are there, so um, somebody can craft or remake it. Good stretch. We'll put that in the kiddos lot. Wooden multicolor um, what did Jennifer call this? Um, I'll put it on the screen. Happy, it's a happy necklace. All these beautiful colors. Now they're coming off a little brighter on the camera than they are in person, but that's okay. They're still really pretty. No maker. First time we've had hair in the jewelry. Um, are these? I want to say these, they're not cold to the touch, which if they were ceramic, you would think that they would be, but they're a beautiful cobalt blue um you know a little bit on the darker shade but really nice okay we'll we'll go with that they look like they would have some age to them so we'll go with that Freshwater pearls. Just wanted to see if they were real or not. Now this one on the end is is faux, but these look to be real. And they're almost like a peacock color. Um, yeah, so it's good length. It's um, like 19, 18 inches. So that was a nice piece. Another vintage piece, which is good because I like the vintage pieces. Um, there's no marking, no Japan or anything like that on here. I guess maybe this way. Um, these are acrylic, they need cleaning, and I would say that they're thermoset, um, so, you know, great for summer. Get rid of some of this. luster to them but are they let's take a look wow these are really tight yeah those are faux um, so faux vintage piece I mean the, they're in good condition they're not tone loss I mean they have their luster still so 50-50 uh, I snap faux but very pretty necklace um, I 
So this is probably with the V, I would say this is probably 15 inches. Um, this reminds me of like a kid's um, Aladdin Jasmine type necklace. I mean, there's no marking. Oh, yes, there is. Never mind. It is Disney. Um, it doesn't say which it's from, but it reminds me of Jasmine. So we're going to another kid's brace or um, necklace. Okay, we're just going to craft this. It's wound into itself and I'm not dealing with it. <clears throat> um, let's get this. Oh, kids bracelets. Oh my goodness. Let me get this cleaned up a little bit. So, there we go. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have green, blue, and red tassel earrings. Um, these are hand-painted wood. They're new. I'm assuming these are probably also from Hawaii, like Hilo Hatties, maybe. So we have three of those shoulder duster tassel earrings. Let me get these all put together and I'll be right back. Okay, so amazingly, we have a lot, oh, here, I missed that one, a lot of paired earrings. Um, now these, I don't know what they're to, so we're just going to craft them. Hoops, um, didn't we have a necklace in the, well, I can't remember if it's this lot or a different one, but I have a necklace, I think, that matches these, so, um, I like putting the matched earrings in the little bag so I don't lose them. So these I believe go with that one necklace because they're the multi-tone um, kind of rose gold. We have a single earring that... Oh no, it's not an earring. Huh, I lied. What is this? It's a coat pin that I'm assuming is a wreath. So that's nice. It's got little little hollies, if you want to call them that. Um, what did I do? Where? There we go. So that's cute. It's in very good condition. have a single earring which I think that might have gone with that one necklace that is um, together and this one's missing a stone and missing a mate this one goes with that one necklace and it is missing its mate these two go let's see actually you know what just Hmm. These are tiny. They have a nice little snap closure. I don't see a maker. There's no way that's real. Um, so we're just going to call these... CZ faux gold tone earrings. Um, 
I think these are kind of cool um, that they have the three little stones in the front. I don't see any maker marks. Oh, wait, these are two different ones. Hmm, let's see. No. This is a second pair of what we just saw. So, whoops, that came apart. Snap those back together. So we have two pairs of these. These must have come in a set. Um, yeah, at first I thought there might be writing on it, but I don't. I don't see anything. They don't feel like they're real. Um, they've got a definite plastic feel, so these must have come in a set. This pair... These are nicely made. They're kind of fun. I don't see any marking. Um... I don't think there are anything, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, okay. Let me see if this is still. Yeah, okay, still good. Yeah, these are just faux, um, but they're nicely done. I guess they go like this. You just hoop them, um, push them through. Now these kind of have a silver tone to them. No marking. Let me just do the quick. No. We'll, we'll just rub these real quick. And see if they come up copper. Or not. Oh yeah, those are copper. Don't have to do too much. So those are fun. We have two different earrings. Oh, sorry. Camera work is not good today. Sorry about that. So well, that's a bummer. Um, let me just, real quick. Okay. Uh, so this one is glass. This one is glass. This one is plastic. But they do not have a mate. I think it's cool that they snap though. This go these go with the necklace. Uh, the faux earrings. Those are pretty. Um, they could go with that necklace as well. These are pretty. I like these. I might have to catch and release these. Uh, no maker. But I love the little summery flower. Um, so these might be a catch and release. Faux Druzy. Um, then we have these three very large hoops. We're, we're, 
Well, we're talking four inches around. Um, this one's three and a half inches around. Pull me out. And three and about three and a half. We'll say three and a half inches around. So I have three very large earrings that will not fit in my little Ziploc bag. Um, this has the silver sparkle on the side and the double layer on the inside. Bamboo tin on this one. This set pair. <laughs> Good snap. Those aren't going anywhere. And these are aluminum. They're somewhat lightweight. You need a little bit of maneuvering. Let's see. Yeah, they need a little bit of maneuvering and they'll be good to go as well. Then, Style Plus Design from Kohl's. A set of three faux rings in a gold tone. Rose gold tone, I should say. Um... Two faux plastic, I'm just using plastic, uh, rings. Now this one feels a little bit more like metal. So these are just glass, so three of these. I'm not sure which way is up. So it's got skulls. Is it this way? Or maybe that way, like it's maybe a crown or a knuckle? I don't know. Um, it's a big ring. I mean, it, it goes beyond 13. <laughs> so I, this is a really big ring. Um, so I'm not sure where this is from. I'll have to do a Google search, but it's got a skull and crossbones on each side. Now, this reminds me of a Harley ring that I've seen in the past, but there is no maker. Um, so we don't know. And this one also looks like it's about the same oversize as the other. We have the little kids. Oh, here we go. Um, happy Sunshine Adjustable. And then we have the this one, which I'm just holding, <laughs> so you can see what it says. Um, there is no maker on this one. Uh, once again, it's the same size as the other two. So somebody with really large hands for that. And we have all these pieces, which I'm assuming came off a necklace that was broken. And that pretty much sums up the New Jersey lot. So, you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you. What you think? You know, was it worth the $52 um, for a blue box? Uh, is New Jersey a covetable uh, box compared to the other two, the um, 
Tennessee and the America's Thrift Supply, which is from Alabama, by the way. So uh, let me know when all these videos are up and give me your opinion. Thanks. And thank you for everybody who subscribed. I really appreciate it. I wasn't expecting it. Um, but this is enjoyable to do. I love going through the jewelry and I will get that store up and running. If I, even if I have to stay up past my bedtime, I've got to get this done. <laughs> so, uh, thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one.